Hi, this is a review of the K-Bond wet mortar 3000 degree Fahrenheit cement that's sold by Aya Knows Best on Etsy. Uh, I'm using this cement for my Hell's Forge uh, single burner uh, small forge. This is a great little forge. Uh, you know, for the home enthusiast, hobbyist type person. Uh, obviously, if you're going to do some, you know, serious forging, you'd probably need something a little bit bigger. But this forge uh, really works great for what I need to do, which is mostly just creating uh, yard art from rebar and horseshoes and stuff like that. Uh, the cement that came with the forge didn't last very long. Um, unfortunately uh, it was uh, very flaky after uh, a few uses so I looked for a replacement and I found the K-Bond uh, on Etsy and I first bought one of the small uh, packets of it I think it was the 16 ounce and that uh, didn't quite cover the forge uh, completely so I bought uh, I think this is the 48 ounce uh, container of the wet cement and uh, I've applied a thin coat once and then used the forge several times and then I just applied a second coat and I'll show you that inside the forge in just a minute but uh, I really like this stuff simply because uh, it seems to be very durable. Um, it does crack pretty much like I believe every cement you would get would uh, eventually crack. But what I found is that uh, this dries really hard and does not seem to flake off as much as the uh, previous cement I had. As far as consistency, uh, it has a very good consistency. It's kind of like I would say pudding or something along that line. Uh, I've had this container for oh, probably three or four months now and I just keep it sealed and uh, put it in a plastic quart uh, Ziploc bag and uh, so far it has not dried out at all and just with you know a little stirring uh, it comes back to a very good consistency. I just use a regular old paintbrush to apply it and uh, I just simply brush it on and with this consistency it's really pretty easy to apply it inside your your forge and then I simply rinse this brush out and reuse it but it works really great I would definitely recommend using uh, a paintbrush to do this because trying to put it on you know with a paint stir or something like that uh, is pretty difficult to get a smooth finish. So I'm going to turn my forge around here and we'll take a look at uh, this last application. Okay, I'm going to try to hold the forge up here so you can see inside. Um, I applied this about 24 hours ago, if I recall. And this is an air dry cement, so you don't heat it. You just let it dry for a few days. And... Um, then you can use your forge. But as you can see, it uh, it goes on really smoothly. And uh, at this point, it hasn't developed any hairline cracks. Uh, the last application I did, it did create a few cracks uh, when it dried, but nothing serious. Uh, they're, they're minor cracks. And then after repeated use, um, you know, of heating and expanding and contracting, it did uh, it did create some more cracks, but those again weren't serious, but I just wanted to be able to uh, fill those in and get a nice clean surface. So uh, what I'm going to do now is let this dry a couple of days and then I will come back and give you a quick demo of the forge in action with this K-Bond uh, wet mortar 3000 degree Fahrenheit cement. Hi, I'm back again. Um, it's been about uh, actually four days since I 
I made the first part of this video and I just wanted to show you the results. Uh, got a good coat of the K-Bond wet mortar on it. Uh, there are a few little hairline cracks um, as I mentioned. I think these are to be expected just due to the contraction of the material but overall uh, got a very good solid uh, coat of the Kbon wet mortar on. It is uh, very solid. Uh, that's one thing I do like about this is that uh, it doesn't tend to uh, flake off when you touch it or bump it or anything. It uh, it has a really good uh, solid base to it now. So, so what I'll do is uh, fire up the forge and uh, I'll show you the heat signature. Before I fire up the forge, I just want to show you what we'll be heating up here. It's a zero zero light uh, horseshoe. I use these a lot in uh, the stuff I make, and it typically takes about uh, four to five minutes to heat one of these up to the point where I can put it in my uh, bending device in my jig and bend it to uh, any of the desired shapes. Okay, I don't know if you can hear me over the forge but I uh, got it fired up here and it's coming up to uh, temperature. Uh, as I mentioned this takes about four to five minutes to heat this horseshoe up so uh, I'll check back in in a couple of minutes. I've uh, turned off the forge now so you can see the heat distribution pattern inside. Uh, as I mentioned, I, I really like the uh, K-Bond wet mortar because it's a really solid sealed surface, uh, very durable, and I think it produces a really good heat distribution pattern as you can see from the uh, glow inside the forge. So overall, I uh, would highly recommend the K-Bon wet mortar cement uh, that's sold on Etsy by Aya Knows Best. Uh, I think it performs really well and I think it's a great value, uh, especially compared to the mortar that came with the Hales Forge. Uh, forge. Uh, it's much less expensive uh, product than, than uh, their replacement product. And as I mentioned, it really goes on well uh, and produces a, a good solid uh, cement surface. So would highly recommend it.